All right, guys, we're doing a quick weekly update. I tried to do a live stream for this, but for whatever reason, it just would not let me connect to the internet. But let's get right into it. So we've got camo trench coats. Now, these will be on the website later tonight. And I'll show them here in a second, but I just want to let you guys know I'm taking pictures of them now, and I'll be uploading these along with all of these military minifigures to the website tonight. So I didn't want to just upload trench coats because I know a lot of you guys want to save money on shipping and buy other things. So I figured I'm going to upload these and then all of these figures here to the website. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the different camo trench coats that I have. So we have a total of nine um, patterns, I believe it is, or is it just might be eight. I think there's a ninth one. I don't know. But we've got my favorite, which is this cool like urban blue color. I think this is so cool. Um, let's see if we can get it to focus. Maybe we'll go over here in the light. Yeah, so we've got this cool urban blue. I believe I have 15 of each of the camos. So just to let you guys know how many we actually have um, in stock. Actually, there's more of those than there. Okay, so we've got the blue. That's by far my favorite. That's probably going to sell out right away. I know a lot of you guys are going to like this. We've got these that are going to be great for anyone that does Vietnam War stuff um, or World War II, but Vietnam, really good color scheme there. We've got a kind of digital, um, I would say, desert marpat. We've also got this that has one less um, camo, like skin tone or color. There's got to be thought I had because there's also this one. Oh no, that's the same. Okay, yeah. So we've got these. Then we've also got the winter ones. Now these I got a bunch more of because I figured a lot of you guys would buy these for the Battle of the Bulge style figures. So I got a bunch of those. We've got another darker kind of white, I would say more of a gray urban camo. It's the same kind of stripe pattern, but different colors as the blue one. We've also got this one. Now I might do a cool figure with these, but they will be available. We've got kind of a chocolate chip cookie camo one, and then we've also got another woodland camo. So there's a lot of different versions. And then I also restocked on plain white, more black, because the black was actually sold out pretty quickly. And then the reddish brown was also sold out. So these two were sold out. They're back in stock now. I got more white because they're almost out of stock. But all of this is on the website. I also do have completely blank tan ones if you guys want. So we've got four blank versions and then all of these camo printed versions. So these are $2 a piece and the camo I believe will be $3 a piece because it does take special printing and ink to get those patterns and it is more expensive to get these made. So those will be $3. We got those that'll be two. And then let's take a look at some of these figures. So I want to make this quick, but a lot of these are, all of these up here are completely exclusive. There was just one of them. They'll never be made again. These are completely exclusive. These are actually from my personal collection. All of these are. And so all of the ones in the front, there's going to just be one of. And then the ones back here, there's duplicates of. So for example, we've got four of these American soldiers here. You can see we've got four there. We've got eight of these American soldiers because the American riflemen on my website, I think are already sold out and you guys love buying up these American Marines. So we've got eight of those, which is going to be nice. Those have light flesh. Um, most of these actually have light flesh. We've got three of these. Um, I guess I'm going to call them probably just medics because they do have arm printing. I very rarely do arm printing. So this is going to be pretty cool. So we've got three of those. We've got three of these guys. These are kind of cool. These are kind of inspired by like the Dark Knight, you know, the clowns that um, went in and did like the bank robbery heist. So we've got three of those. We've got three of these guys. These are kind of like a cool, um, I would say PMC, private military contractor here using some of my printed parts and then my vests and my new rifle. And then we got two of these guys. These are pretty cool. They've got the full-on overmolded RPG with the rocket. That Just this gun I sell for $10, and this figure is going to be pretty cheap. So that's a good way to get an overmolded product from, my, from me for you know a good price. And then we've got these guys, kind of an urban militant-looking figure. we got two of those. We've got two female zombies, so I thought that would be kind of different. So if you guys want a female German zombie, there you go. We've got two of these guys. These are pretty basic army builder Germans. These are going to be pretty cheap. These will probably be like six or seven dollars. So if you want really cheap figures, there'll be a couple of those. We've got two of these, you know, World War II inspired American with the trench gun. So we got two shotgun guys there. 
We've got two of these. These would look good with a trench coat, but these are kind of just generic World War II riflemen. I'll probably give these guys an M1 Grand as well. So we got two of those. We've got two of these guys. These are kind of inspired by a artillery gunner, you know, that normally has his shirt off because it's so hot and sweaty. Um, he's got the bandolier. He's got full printing, really. He's got arm printing and everything. So we've got two of those. We've got two of these guys. These are kind of interesting. So it's an all tan print and it's actually has a military police patch printed on it. So once again, I don't do arm printing often, but uh, we got two military police in all tan. And then I'm not going to go through and show all of these. These actually should go back here because I do have two of these, but these are another cool way you can get a very exclusive RPG that's overmolded in white. I don't think I've ever done that other than for these figures. So you get that. You get the, um, what did I call that? The Arctic Soldier head. I had a couple extras of those. So there's two of those. And then there's also one that's a little bit different, just has a different head. So there are those two variants. And then I guess I'll move these figures up. And then we got, you know, I'll just show you a couple of these. We've got this American Soldier. This is one of my original products which was a cooling shroud for this 1919 machine gun. So I'll be selling that as a full figure there. You know, a couple other things. We've got like a U.S. Marine with a spade printed helmet. I printed that myself. So if you want a U.S. Marine, um, what else do we got in here? We got this guy. This is pretty cool. He's got a tiny tactical vest and backpack. I mean, just that backpack, I think is four or $5. The vest is four or $5. So that's an expensive vest there. Um, once again, really cheap army builders. If you guys want, this will probably be $5. A lot of Japanese soldiers, a lot of World War II Ottomans and British because these were from the Sinai Desert. So a lot of these came straight off of the mock way back when. I actually found a big bag of them. So these will be going on the website as well. Once again, if you guys want more U.S. Marines, I know those have been pretty popular. This guy actually has printed first, I think that's first Marine Division printed patch. Um... A couple other things. This guy, an African Corps German, he's got a printed eagle on the helmet. Once again, I did all that printing, but these are just old prints. So all of this will be available. You know, we've got some Russian figures. This one's actually decaled, but it's a really nice decal, actually. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see all of these figures will be on the website individually. You know, we've got a German zombie there. What else do we got? Kind of just a basic German infantry soldier. So a lot of army builder type figures, a lot of arm printing. You know, this has a cool Japanese flag print. So there's a lot of specialty stuff in here. But like I said, none of this will be made again. It's all going to be, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. And then obviously these, we have a couple more than just one. So all of this will be going on the website later tonight. That is the goal. And then, of course, the trench coats. So guys, just make sure you check out the website tonight. I would say... All this should be up by like 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So that's the goal. So I'm going to get to it. This video is already longer than I thought. But thanks for watching, guys. BrickTactical.com. And I'll see you next time.